What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Pyrotechnic Plays. And I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm, I'm hungry, I'm thirsty, thirsty for those hidden gems, man. You know what it is. Today we're playing Nocturne. All right. Guess I should check the convict here. No good on that. I really like the intro. Looks good so far. Probably gonna get copy struck for the music unless they made it. Yeah. All right. It's got a hell of a soundtrack. The sound of wind whispering through the trees. The smell of dew on plants that tickles my nostrils. The sight of the dark, boundless sky. And the feel of the glittering moonlight shining on me. What a wonderful night. I feel blessed to be awake now. I hear something different. hair waving frantically, a sense of hopelessness and desperation. How fortunate. This is truly a wonderful night. Now let the hunt begin. Uh, uh, yeah. uh, uh, please, help me. Damn it, this bitch is a pain in the ass. It's only because you're a dumbass. I would have caught her at once and I'd chased her alone. Well, that aside, yeah. Hey, girl, you might have fooled us completely earlier, but is that really all you've got? Say, boss, how about that mysterious guy? Shall we rob him along with the girl? Of course we will, Captain Obvious. It's only natural to kill two birds with one stone and give it a chance. Well, for once you're right. Hey chap, be a good boy and hand over the girl and your money. Or spare your life if you do just that. What's the matter? Are you seriously asking for death? Hey, you deaf or something? We won't know what you're thinking if you keep quiet, say something. Uh, huh, well fine then. I was thinking of overlooking you anyway. But your utter silence had made me change my mind. Die. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Uh. Oh shit. Oh shit. Uh. My. Fuck him up. Holy shit, the animations. Oh my god. So action packed. Ugh. Boss! This guy's he's a monster! <laughs> Retreat! As I thought, I can't quite unleash as much strength as I want to after just having woken up. Um Thank you so much for your help. I was truly at a loss for what to do. Uh, it's nothing. There's no need to thank me. 
Uh, um, can you tell me your name? My name. Yes, well, that's if you don't mind. It's Ravel. So, Mr. Ravel, would you like to come to my village? Well, it's late after all. My house even has a spare bed, so by all means, please come. Village. Ah, sorry. I didn't mean to sound pushy. Is the village nearby? Yes. It's a small village, though. I see. That means... Oh, shit. Um, Mr. Ravel? Very well. Let's head to the village. Ah, sure. You're more than welcome to come. Follow me, then. It won't take long before we reach the village. Oh, we might have... Oh, I'm sorry. Luna. Luna Winston. That's my name. Since you told me your name, it's only right that I tell you mine. Uh, ah, not, not that it really matters, does it now? Sorry about that. Let's quickly head to the village. Ooh, this looks good. Village of Algas. Welcome to the village, Mr. Azim. What is the reveal? Is it, yeah. Sure is a small village. Yes. It's a very nice place to be in, though. I'm sure you'll like it here. Uh, let me take you to my house, then. It's just right ahead. She better have some tea. Tea is just excellent, and like most needed. As I thought, the lights are still on. Huh? Sorry, Mr. Ravel. I understand you must be tired, but can you wait here for a bit? Well, it's just that I have to inform my parents that we have a guest. No problem. Sorry, it won't take long. I haven't played a bit of this yet. I think I just all I press entered a lot, but it's good. It's a good story. The sound of wind whispering through the trees. The smell of dew on plants that tickles my nostrils. A small village. The sight of the dark, boundless sky. And the feel of the glittering moonlight shining on me. What a wonderful night. What a truly wonderful night. The eternal cycle of transmigration. Life begins in light, only to end in darkness, and that is predetermined to only repeat itself endlessly. So who's gonna stop me from hunting? I have the right, after all. The sun rises in the east and sets in the west. A season starts with spring and ends with winter. Humans are born to live and live to die. Such is the inescapable fate. Such is the definite truth, and such is foregone conclusion. Yes, such is nothing more. Ah, uh, thank you for waiting, Mr. Ravel. We're gonna say Reviel. Oh, that like the Reviel. All right. I've spoken to my parents, and they allow me to let you in. So please come in. Oh, um, about my parents. Please don't take to heart whatever they say. Especially my mother, okay? She's, well, kind of weird. Uh, anyway, please come in. Um, Dad, this is Mr. Reviel, the man I told you about. I should go help my mother out. Ah, uh, er, <clears throat> welcome, traveler. I must thank you for saving my good-for-nothing daughter in this late hour. Uh, as you can see, this is a small village without any sightseeing spots or anything noteworthy. Still, though, seeing that you must be tired from your travels, please rest here by all means. Go on, it's late already. We have a bed ready for you, so please rest the night. Oh my god, I can walk. Oh, look at that run. I like it. Alright, hold on. I'm adjusting. Alright. 
This is probably like the nicest. Just seems real polished. Like they knew what they were doing. What was the Yeah. Cut some leaks. Let's go down. Oh, oh! Ah, uh, Mr. Reviel. We just finished preparing your bed. Oh, you must be Reviel. Luna was just saying how heroic and handsome you were, right? Mom! Oh, come on, Luna. You're not going to deny what you just said now, are you? Besides, the fact that you brought a man here can only mean one thing. I'm telling you, that's not it. Uh, can you not raise your voice like that? Even Reviel looks startled. Well, you started it. Never mind. Reviel, feel free to treat this place as your own home. After all, from here on out, I shall be entrusting Luna to... I guess I shouldn't snoop. Can't snoop, but we can snooze. Oh my gosh. Alarm came on at the exact same time. Now then. You're right. It's time. Mr. Raviel, G good morning. Morning. Eh, did you not have enough sleep? You don't look so good. No, that's not it. There are no problems. I had a very good sleep last night. I see. That's good then. The bed you slept on is pretty old and hard at any rate. It even makes a creaking sound whenever one turns on while sleeping in it. I suppose it's time to buy a new one. Well, not that it matters to you anyway. What was I saying? Uh, um, my mom wants me to tell you that breakfast is ready. Uh, all right. Is something the matter? Um, once you're done with breakfast, could you... Uh, never mind. It's nothing. I just remember I have to hang the laundry, so if you'll excuse me. Uh, I can snoop. Only a little. Mm. Fucking delicious. So tasty. Thank you. I'm glad to see that you enjoyed the breakfast I prepared. Oh, by the way, Riviel, how long do you plan to stay in this village? Well, I haven't really thought about it, but I'll probably stay for a while. I see. In that case, Luna! LUNA! Fuck it. Get it. What is it, Mom? Why did you suddenly call for me? Luna, you're free in the morning, right? Reviel is new to this village, so I would like you to bring him around. Eh! Ah. What was with that weird reaction? Reviel, you're fine with my daughter bringing you around, right? Yeah, well, I was actually just thinking of looking around the village. Why isn't that convenient? What What are you saying, Mom? What? You're not complaining now, are you? After all, you said about how you would love to hold hands with- Alright, I'll do it, I'll do it! Not again. It seems I keep getting Reviel into awkward situations. Uh, well, why don't you just relax and not worry so much? How can I not worry when it's your fault in the first place? Sorry. Shall we go then? Yeah, let's go. Oh, before we proceed, do you have any places in particular that you would like to visit? No, not really. If anything though, I would like to know about the whole village. Hmm. In that case, we'll just take a tour around the village. It'll take a while though, so is that okay with you? Well, not that it will take very long since it's just a small village. 
no problem. Then let's go. We'll start with the supply shop right across the bridge ahead. Oh. Hello, Luna. Thank you very much for the help the other day. Item shop. Good morning, Luna. Good morning, cutie. Well, Luna's brought a guy here. Don't get any funny ideas, please. This gentleman here is just our guest. <laughs> You're no fun. Stop teasing me. He's just our guest, all right? Ah, sorry. This is the supply shop. You can also call it the item shop. It sells herbs, potion, mattocks, and even ropes for mountain climbing. I believe one can find all general items that one needs here. In fact, my family patronizes this shop often. Patronizes. Patronizes this shop often. I see. I'm cutie. Or cutting? Cutie. As a prodigal daughter, I manage this shop in place of my father. And well, like Luna said, I sell pretty much all general items. So be sure to come here for all your general item needs. Erm, um, what's your name, mister? Reviel. Mr. Reviel, got it. If there's anything you lack, you can either speak to me or my father who occasionally shows up here. After all, we trade gurus who's who sell all sorts of items. We're trade gurus. Even those from the black market. You probably shouldn't, um, you said black market. Shh, don't dwell on the small details. <sighs> well, this is it for the supply shop. Let's head out. Oh yeah. Now let's head to the inn that's right ahead. It's probably closed now, but it's the nearest place of note from here. Right ahead? Like... Yeah, I did it. There's some rope. What's up with this rope? For another time. Oh. Hmm. As I thought, the inn is closed. Uh. Well, let me just explain some things about the inn. To be exact, this is an inn come bar. The first floor is the bar. While the second floor is the inn for travelers. Well, not that many travelers come here since it's just a small village. Still, though. There's no need. For, there's there's a need for a place for guests to stay in, which is why there's some support for the inn from the villagers. As for the bar, business is apparently thriving at the moment, seeing how most of the villagers frequent it. I see. Also, the landlady of this place is a very nice person who opens the inn till late at night. After all, there have been travelers who came knocking on the door during late hours. Because of that, the inn usually just opens before noon instead of this time. Well, I could try knocking on the door now, but I think it's best that we don't disturb the landlady this time. Are there any guests staying here now? Huh? If I remember correctly, a group of three adventurers are currently staying at the inn. Ah, there's also a slayer who's apparently come to stay here. And rumor has it, the slayer is incredibly skilled. A slayer? Yeah, to be exact, the slayer specializes in slaying vamp- Is something wrong? N no. I'll explain that in detail later. Now let's go up the stairs to the north and head to the weapon and armor shop. A slayer who specializes in slaying vampires? Uh. At first this is nothing more than a small village, but now I've come to realize how this village actually suits me. Oh, Luna, teach me something fun to get, play again today. Tiger King Shop. Good morning, Mr. Maddock. Oh, good morning, Miss Luna. It is rare of you to come here. What brings you here? Is it a message from Stella? Or is it that spear you bought before has worn out? No, I'm here today to, well, bring Mr. Reviel around the village. He's a traveler, so he's particularly interested in this sort of place. Or so I think. I see. So this unfamiliar gentleman you brought here is to be my potential customer. Mr. Reviel, yes? My name is Maddock. I basically sell weapons and armor here. I'm also open to discussions to regard weapons. I'm also open to discussions with regard to weapons. But well, how about showing me your two hands first? Mr. Reviel? Ah, uh, you must be feeling hesitant about showing the hands of a swordsman to a suspicious old man whom you've just met. No, I... I don't really mind. 
and I shall now look at your hands. This is... What's wrong, Mr. Manic? Ah, uh, my word. It's a huge world out there. I have looked at the hands of hundreds of weapon wielders, but I've never once seen hands as seasoned as yours. Mr. Reviel, who exactly are you? Oh no, I probably shouldn't be asking such thoughtless questions. Uh, is he really so strong? <laughs> well, that is unless my eyes are not playing tricks on me given my old age. At any rate, there is no need for me to comment too much on the skills of a master swordsman. A dual sword wielder and a fencing style with two long swords. Well, in any case, feel free to buy any swords that you would like next time you come. Yeah, I'll do just that. Let's go to our next destination. Ah, yes. See you later, Mr. Maddock. All right, do come by often, even if you don't need anything. I'll prepare tea cakes next time you come. Thank you. I'll be off then. What's wrong, Mr. Revell? That old man is no ordinary person. Eh? You mean Mr. Maddock? Yeah. The thing is, an ordinary person wouldn't be able to easily tell the difference in the talents of people, no matter how knowledgeable that person is. Well, that old man was apparently able to tell how strong I am as a swordsman just by looking at my hands. Could he possibly have witnessed enough fighting skills to be able to do just that? I'm sorry, I don't quite follow you. He's someone who has the ability to measure my strength. That's all there is to it. I suppose we should go upstairs to the north next? N no Let's head to the village chief's house and east from here instead. Huh? Sorry, um... I'll be sure to explain later. Just don't go up those stairs. Alright. She said go east, right? Oh god, where am I at? <laughs> the mayor's house. I should go around the village in a clockwise direction. Oh. Okay. Going around the clock. Got it. Now he's said, so Don't. It seems we're not supposed to go up the stairs. Indeed, it does seem. Hello. Uh, this is the village chief's house. As the village chief is busy right now, we can only see his house from the outside. Huh. Next will probably be Mr. Roshi's, or should I say the smithy. Let's head there. Busy at this time, huh? Oh, Luna, please give my regards to Stella. What are you doing? Hey, Luna, the weather has continuously been gloomy lately, so much that it dampens my spirits. today being your training day. No, that's not it, Mr. Rosh. I'm just being a Mr. Reviel, the gentleman behind me around the village. Hmm, I see. Mr. Reviel, this is the village smithy, and the gentleman in front of you is... Rosh. Everyone in the village calls me that. Hmm. Well, if it's swords or any other weapons or armors that you want, then I'm afraid to say that I don't forge them. You're better off approaching Maddox. The weapon and armor shopkeeper for them. Do you know where he is? Yes, Mr. Reviel knows. I brought him there earlier. Then that settles it. You don't forge weapons and armors? Yeah, I don't. While this place is officially a smithy, it's essentially more like a hardware shop. Mr. Rosh basically forges things like pots and kettles. Oh, and this isn't relevant, but an achievement of his is having built a belfry in this town of Snowdrow. Yeah, pretty much that. You mentioned training. Ah, well, the truth is, I'm currently trained by Mr. Rosh in spearfighting. Well, that's, after all, an honor of self-defense. She had long pestered me to train her no matter what until I finally agreed. Huh. Luna, are you about done now? 
I would like to spend the day tidying up. Uh, sorry for interrupting your work. Nah, don't fret. If anyway, I can't thank you enough for saving me from your tomboyish mother, Stella, when I first came to this village. Um, I could really use some help forgetting what happened that time. <laughs> well, she has since matured into a fine lady. Even Maddock is willing to learn things from her. I wouldn't recommend that, to be honest. Well, I'll see you again then. I look forward to tomorrow's training. Yeah, same here. Hmm. Raviel, huh? I wonder if it's really alright to overlook him. So that's it then. Yeah, I more or less know about the whole village now. Is something wrong? Mr. Reviel, can I have a word with you? Does she know? Ugh. The truth is, I should have said this earlier. It's kind of hard to say this now, but... I should have better expressed my gratitude to you for saving my life. Also, it's my first time introducing the village to a traveler. Are you annoyed by my inexperience? Not really. You're, you're a kind person. Anyway, there are two things I need to tell you about regarding this village, Mr. Reviel. One is regarding the frightening epidemic here. The epidemic spread like wildfire across the whole village. It had been going on for quite some time and only died down recently. However, it's not over yet. There's still one person who is bedridden and has yet to recover. And that person is the one living in the house upstairs, isn't it? Yes, that's right. On the other hand, the situation in his areas away from the house has taken a turn for the better. Still though, we must not be negligent. Negligent. And so I would advise that you don't get too close to that house. I see. The other thing is regarding... Vampires, right? <laughs> it began about two weeks ago. First a woman's body was found with traces of blood having been sucked. Then several people went missing. And last night, there was yet another. Even though a skilled slayer is coming tonight, I still don't feel safe. Um, after hearing about these incidents, do you feel uneasy about them? How absurd. Huh? Epidemic? Vampires? What about them? Th those aren't a threat to me at any rate. Thank you. Huh? Did you say something? No, it's nothing. Let's head back to my house. Hmm. There's probably just one problem, though. The Vampire Slayer. That might just be a nuisance for me. Oh my god, there's diagonal running. Calm down, game. Luna, help! Mrs. Savalo? What's wrong? It's Mitty. She suddenly... Mitty's in trouble? How can this be? I thought the doctor kept her condition under control. I don't know. All I know is that she spoke suddenly spewed blood and then her forehead began to burn hot. If anything would have happened to Mitty... Uh, what should I do? The doctor. Where's the doctor? He went to the urban area to purchase medicine. That's why I can only rely on you. I got it. I'll do all I can to help until the doctor returns. Sorry, Mr. Reviel. I have to do whatever you want. Thank you. Tell my mom I'll be at Midia's place. Let's go, Mr. Savala. Huh. What a hassle. Your daughter's gonna be late for lunch. Wasn't Luna with you? She went to the house up on the hill. Eh, don't tell me it's regarded to Midia's condition. Apparently it is. <sighs> Reviel, sorry to trouble you with this, but could you pass this book to Luna? Medical Encyclopedia Obtained. Oh, yeah. Well, all right. You can just ask the person standing in front of the house on the hill to pass it to her. Thank you in advance. 
Yes, yeah, she's probably gonna need that. Sorry. It is nice to make your acquaintance, Mr. Raviel. Who are you? How do you know my name? I am known as Shilfiel. 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 I'm not a shy feel. I'm not a shall feel. Alright, we're going shall feel. Shall feel. Shall. 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 What? What? I am not a shy feel. Shall feel. Shall feel. It's hard. It's a hard one. That's a good one. I am not a shall feel. I came by the order of my master. I hope we can get along from this point forward. Your master. This mana. So it's chaos, huh? Yes, that is correct. Huh. So, what business do you, a familiar of chaos, have with me? I'm here to pass a written invitation from my master to you. He wishes to invite you for tea. I fucking love tea. My master has cut off all dealings with the outside world. Hence, please forgive him for abruptly sending me to see you like this. Huh. Chaos invitation obtained. That will be all for me. We shall await your arrival at my master's residence. Words. Huh. I thought that was the vampire slayer. Yo, what's up? Hmm. You're the one whom Luna brought to this village. Let me in. No. Someone infected by the epidemic lives inside. I can't allow strangers in at any rate. There's something I have to ascertain first before heading to Chaos's residence. Ah. What was I doing? Let me in. You have no problems with that, right? Ah, yes. Please, go in. Got him. Ah, why so sudden? She was doing so well not too long ago. We must calm down. Right now we have to be patient and trust that our girl will pull through. I'm gonna pull her through. Mr. Reviel! What are you doing here? I'm asked to pass something to you. There's also something I want to ascertain. Pass Medical Encyclopedia to Luna. This book. It's from my mom, isn't it? So she shares the same thought as me. Luna? Well, I actually have a hunch that Midia's illness might not be caused by the epidemic. Her condition, after all, is slightly different from the conditions of other infected villagers, but... I can't be so sure. Huh. Mr. Reviel? So this is different from what I thought. But wait, this is... Mr. Reviel, it's dangerous to get too close. It's a puppet's curse. Huh? It's most likely the work of a vampire. The work of a vampire? You mean a vampire cursed media? Yeah. What? So that means Midia's illness is... It's not caused by the epidemic. The vampire is probably just a small fry, though. So this will be interesting. What? Why? Why is Midia cursed? Huh. The reason is simple. Vampires can't enter a home unless invited. Huh? Vampires only active, are only active at night, which is the time when most people are in their homes. Vampires obviously can't hunt in broad daylight. 
That's why some mid-class and above vampires try to take control of people with weak minds and lure them out. In Midia's case, though, a poor mind control skill was used on her, causing her mind to be stressed to an abnormal degree instead of just being controlled. That's why her condition... That's why her condition suddenly deteriorated. Is there... Is there a way to save Midia? Please tell us, Mr. Reviel. There is, but... You will need a heavenly herb named Amnil. Only with that can you easily remove the puppet curse. A heavenly herb? That must be hard to find. I know a place where that herb grows in. I'll get that herb and meet my old friend there while I'm at it. I... I'll go as well. Please, let me go with you. You don't need to. That place where my old friend lives and inhabited my monsters. Then all the more I have to go. I'll be fine alone. You'll only be a hindrance if you come along. Right. <sighs> my old friend lives deep in the forest. And just so you know, I won't be able to guarantee your safety. If you don't mind that, then do whatever you want. Thank you. What a hassle, really. Nope. Walls. A curse? Well, I don't really understand it, but seeing that there's a way to treat media, please do all that you can to save her. I wish I could go with you, but I can't leave this village. Get some herbs, some herbs, some herbs. We're going to get some herbs, some herbs. Oh man. We'll be entering the territory of my old friend Chaos. Don't be alarmed at the things that will happen within. Don't be alarmed? You'll know soon enough. Well, okay. I'll be careful. Let's go. Ah! No way! We were in the forest a moment ago! This is Chaos's territory. You're... You're touching my back. Uh, sorry, thank you. Um, what exactly is this place? This place is constructed by one of Chaos's unique magic skills. I don't know how it works, though. Oh my god. Alright. Oh. Let's get it. But the only thing I know for sure is that this is no ordinary magic. You're... You're right. At any rate, this place feels so real and so different from the forest. While I'm not really sure myself, it would appear that we have been teleported. No. If that's the case, we would have sensed a change in the mana around us. But the mana that flows around here is entirely the same as the mana back in the forest. We're in the same physical space, but a different dimension. Well, at least, that's what I make it out to be. Only Chaos knows the true nature of this place. Um, get away from there! Ah! Guard till I come over. Yes! Mr. Reviel! You've done well with putting up with the attacks. Now stay back while I settle this. I'll fight as well. Remember what I said before about how I'm trained in spear fighting by Mr. Rosh? If you fight alone, it'll be against two. But if I support you, it's no use. 
These monsters may be small fries, but you're no match for them. But I can already tell that you lack strength and experience when it comes to battles like this. You'll only be in the way, so stay back. Right. Well now, these small fries may or may not know who they're dealing with, but no matter. I'll promptly wipe them out. Ugh. I'll have to use some magic. Is that right? Dark Slasher! We're now in a place of inhabited by monsters. So it would help if you can become more alert. Um... Sorry. About what? I tagged along with you, only to be a hindrance. Huh? What are you talking about? Eh? That's something I already knew all along. Do you seriously think you could fight alongside me in battle? Don't worry. I'm not expecting anything from you in the first place. Sorry. Oh, but... Even though he's not expecting anything from me in the first place, and he knew all along that I would be a hindrance, he still allowed me to tag along with him. I see. So Mr. Reviel is... What are you waiting for? We've got to hurry. Yes. A new entry titled Magic Skills has been added into the system manual file under Main Menu Manual. Where's this main menu? Oh my god, this whole time. Oh my god. Oh my god. What? Message speed, a little faster on that. Oh my god. Holy crap, this is awesome. Act. I, I don't want to wait. I just want to action-y. I don't... This is so good. Let's keep going. Slasher! There's no extras up here. Uh, stupid that. Uh, 
Heck yeah. yeah. It's a dark place this time. I can't see anything. What should we do? We can't progress like this. Light. Up here. Uh, is this the magical fire? Yeah, pretty much. Wow. You certainly can do anything, Mr. Revial. Huh. Let's get a move on. Yes. Is it just me? Or did I just rub him in the wrong way? I slash him. I think I forgot some stuff back here. Whoa. Whoops. Saw some items I have to get. Green herbs for healings? I do enjoy the healings. Okay, that's where I came. Alright. Dark Slasher! Have such a hard time fighting these small fries. Look, I have like, looks like I haven't regained that much strength at all after since waking up. Can't be helped. As much as I'm reluctant to, I have to summon a familiar. Yeah, Mr. Reviel, one of the monsters you just fought is now right behind you. This is my familiar. It is not one of the monsters I fought just now. Eh? That monster dropped a core object. I used that as a medium to summon a familiar. That is all. That's all? What's the matter? Shouldn't we be hurrying? Yes, but... No, you're right. We have to save media quickly. Monsters occasionally drop core objects. Or see ob objective C's. Or sorceries. You can use core objects to summon familiars and equip familiars with sorceries that provide abilities to them. While familiars may not seem useful to reveal in terms of abilities, they are familiars with abilities that Reveal does not have. Hence, it would be helped to use familiars effectively to, to your advantage in battle. Also, if familiars released or dies, it is associated core object will break and be returned to Reveal along with some equipped sorceries, after which the core object becomes unusable. In that situation, you can look for Red Crystal to fully restore the broken core object. Red Crystals are extremely vital in reviving familiars. They can be found at certain areas in various dungeons, so it would be good to remember their locations. New entries titled Unique Skills and Passive Skills. How to learn skills and how to set skills and how to summon familiars have been added into the system. Alright. Oh my gosh. So this is definitely, I think we may have found something here guys. This is definitely very good. This is Nocturne Rebooth, Rebirth. My English is going. I'm going to leave a, a link down in the description. It's definitely badass. So I'm definitely going to make a part two of this. So thank you guys for watching. Another episode of Pyrotechnic Plays. I am Pyrotechnic. It was an honor serving you as your entertainment for today. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Stop streaming. Stop recording. <laughs>